Hey everybody, how is it going? Not too many videos on the channel at the moment. That's because I'm in parental leave. So I'm with the kiddo at home mostly. But I'm here in my studio today to show you this guitar, the Harmony Silhouette, the Reborn Silhouette. Uh, this is a guitar that was made way back when. I think the original is super cool. The new one is a bit different, but I think it's even more cool now because they didn't do like an exact replica of the old one. I think it's cool that they just did a kind of new thing and I think it's a super cool guitar and I'm digging it a lot. Myself, I'm a big fan of those cheaper guitars that you can get back in the 60s, maybe in a magazine or at Walmart, uh, those types of guitars. And I also dig artists or guitarists now that use old ones. They're not using Les Pauls or Strats, they're using old harmonies, or silver tones or airlines, just like Jack White, Dan Auerbach or Bahamas. And this particular guitar is kind of a remake of one of those. This particular one is in pearl white and I think I might have found the ultimate color for a guitar because this looks awesome and it matches my new drum kit. Yes. And if you are a regular here on my channel, you might know that I think the answer to basically everything here in the world is mini humbuckers. And this guitar has mini humbuckers and I'm super happy about that. And if you want to know why I think mini humbuckers are good and why these are so good, I think they sit nice between single coils and humbuckers. You might want to say, well, P90s do that as well. Yeah, they do, but they are often very punchy and mini humbuckers often tend to compress the signal just a tiny bit and I really like that with pickups. <laughs> And we got locking tuners, a feature that kind of surprised me. I think it's a good thing though. I don't think you see locking tuners on the vintage silhouette, that's for sure. <laughs> We got a C-shaped neck uh, going on here. I think it feels very good all over the neck. There's one thing I want to point at with this guitar is the strings that it came with. I'm not sure what brand it was, but when I first played the guitar, I think, well, this is good. It was a tiny bit dead sounding and it felt a bit cheap. So I put Ernie Ball 11s on and the guitar seriously got twice as good 
with that. Uh, you know, this could be that the strings were not right for me. I often see that uh, guitars, they are delivered with nines. Even though there's a big hype around eights and nines at the moment, I'm not a huge fan. I definitely prefer 11s or 10 at least. So yeah, putting on new strings really made this guitar. I just want to say though, that is a pretty common thing. Even Fender and Gibson often comes with strings that I am not a big fan of. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> Well, I want to go back to playing this guitar. Thanks for watching this video. If you have the chance to pick one of these up, absolutely do so. It looks amazing and it also luckily plays really good and sounds good as well. Thanks for watching and bye.